Hey there folks, so in this box is frogs. These frogs are what got me into poison dart frogs. And back when I first got into the hobby, I wanted Azurius or Ranatamaya Imitator Green. I made this wish list September the 1st, back in 2011. Nobody, I couldn't find anybody working with the imitators back then. Got these from Frog Daddy. Prior pack. This is Solanum um, Black Jungle. What are these? The Ben Trichomalatas. No, these are the greens, aren't they? Yeah, um, that's one. All right, so let's get these frogs separated. The first frog that I'm about to pull out of here is a Ranatamaya Amazonica French Guana. By the way, ignore my stick and poke tattoos. I did them back whenever I was young and dumb. I have had experience separating frogs before, so if they jump away from you, don't freak out. Just try to remain calm. Watch your little babies. Always watch out for their feet or any body parts when closing the lid. I realized that there was moisture on the lid, so I needed to swap it out so I can take pictures later. Here I'm about to unpack the first Ranatamaya Imitator Green. Several years ago, I was watching a documentary on poison dart frogs, and I did some research, and I found a picture from J.P. Lawrence, which led me to Dendro Board, and led me to know that you could actually keep dart frogs, and it led to a fascination and a great hobby. This picture here by J.P. Lawrence was what started it all for me. This is Ranatamaya Imitator Green number two. A great success! Alright, so that's the frogs. I highly recommend Frog Daddy. They were packed um, very nicely. I thought it was going to be daunting to separate them out of there. Luckily, I had the spare container. If I didn't have the spare container, I don't know what I would have done. Um, but let me show you their setups real quick. Here we have my Ranatomaya vibariums. Alright, so this one's Ranatomaya variabilla southern. This one is for the Ranatomaya amazonica french guana and this is going to be for the Ranatomaya imitator green. This one, this one's more grown up because there's a lot of philodendron vines in there and I want to cut it off into sections and nodes and get more growing. So I haven't cleaned that at tank out. I cleaned this one out very recently cut a lot of stuff back all right but that's the future home for the for the ran into my imitator green i accidentally said french guana in the recording the fan doesn't work i'm gonna have to get it replaced soon here is some footage of me releasing the frogs here i am releasing the first of the ran into my imitator green I have had this vivarium set up for several months. It's probably even been a year. And I put in some springtails and some isopods and made sure the population was thriving. I added the moss about a year ago. 
and I added the plants and let them grow in. I'm releasing the second Ranitamite Imitator Green. As you can see, I have a nice thick layer of leaves. You want to have a thick layer so the bra can hide in the leaves and still be protected from the substrate. Also, having a nice leaf layer will create food for your isopods and other microfauna. Also, the leaves will break down and create food for your plants, just like it does in the wild. Leaves are essential for any naturalistic vivarium or any bioactive vivarium. Please be careful with the information that you see in some bioactive groups. They are misleading and can cause you to have pests in your vivarium. As I mentioned previously, I have seeded this tank with springtails, and if you look behind the frog, you will see a springtail crawling around. The gray bit up top is a epiweb liana vine made by Dust Tropic based out of Sweden. You can get it at Glassbox Tropicals. As far as I know, they're the only place in the United States that carries it. Hopefully, eventually, the vine will get covered in moss, but the moss in this tank is very slow growing. It's been growing in here for about over a year. The moss that you see the frog hop onto is actually grown on a product called Hygrolon, also sold at Glassbox Tropicals. Here I am releasing the Ranitamaya Amazonica French Guana. There is already one in this tank. There used to be three. I'm not sure what happened to the other two. So now each of the vivariums have two Ranitamaya each. This one has the Ranitamaya French Guana. The other one has the Ranitamaya Imitator Green. And then the last one has the Ranitamaya Variabilla Southern. Little did I know that my camera was actually running out of memory. So sadly, I didn't get to catch footage of the frog hopping away. If you happen to have watched this video all the way through, comment done in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Later, folks.